Hey there everyone, it's been a little while since my last tutorial, so I decided to do a review of a website called speedtest.net. Um, it's for testing your internet connection to find out A, how fast it is, and then I'll show you a second website that's a relative, relative of uh, speedtest, and it's called pingtest.net, and that will test the quality of your connection. So we'll do speed and quality. Well, obviously, internet, open up the internet and go to speedtest.net, right there speed test. It'll open up here and uh, you'll you'll probably think to click that free scan button. Don't. It's an ad. Um, you actually click the begin test and when you hover over it, it changes. Click it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ping to a server, ping back to tell you how fast the ping is and it came back with a result of 10 milliseconds. Then it's going to test your download speed and I'm hitting around 11, 12 megabits per second. Come on. Wow, 12.25. Nice. That is fast. And uh, that, that's pretty good. Now, upload speed is what it's doing right now, and that should be substantially lower. Um, it's the tube. If you think of the internet as two tubes, one being your download, it's substantially bigger. Uh, lots of fluid can flow through that tube, and your upload is a tiny garden hose that um, you pump water through. Now, um, the the, the flow rate's obviously going to be very, very different. You're going to get a whole lot more down the download tube than you're going to get through the upload tube. Um, so yeah, you can see. And my result is actually higher than the average result right now by a tiny little bit. So that's great to know. Um, 0.49 for upload and 12.25 for uh, download. And ping was 10. So that's great. But how, how good is my actual connection? Head over to pingtest.net. You can click the little thingy right there. Because, of course, like it says, bandwidth is only half the story. And right now I'd like to do a shout-out to HD Sean. Um, he's... You should go check him out. He's got some cool videos. Um, so, ping test is trying to load here, apparently. There we go. You're going to hit begin test. Same as same design. And uh, you should actually be asked to allow um, access to your computer or something like this. A window's going to pop up saying it wants to allow something, just click allow or continue or confirm or whatever it says. Um, it's only because it's it's just how it works, okay? Alright, so now it's going to measure the pack. There we go. Allow. <clears throat> it's going to measure how many packets are sent. Packets are the little pieces of information that go to a server like Google or Facebook and then how many it gets back and if it loses any well you know we have packet loss I apparently lost two packets right there so only 1% packet loss usually it's zero um, it just really depends on the day and uh, my, my line quality is B very good your connection should work well for any internet application some online games may not perform optimally now if I test again I should probably get line quality A but I'm not going to do that for time time's sake, um, but I should probably get an A quality. If you click learn more about grades, you can see all the different um, qualities. I was on Skype with my girlfriend and she has a D and C um, performance and uh, I told her to call their service provider. She called and they, changed, they ended up actually changing providers because um, it just was bad. It was really bad. Alright, so there is speed test and ping test. Close out of those two now. Nice. Good. So that is what we got. Um, I'm going to give you a little tip now for transmission, the BitTorrent application. If we open it up, we can see I'm, my, all my transfers are currently paused because I don't want to slow down my internet. What if I want to keep all those running? So we'll hit resume all. Now they're running. And you'll notice that the turtle down here is blue. That's because I have speed limit enabled. And I actually set a schedule for speed limit. Go into preferences for transmission. You can just hit on the keyboard, command, comma, and go to the bandwidth tab. You'll see here that for the speed limit mode, my download rate is set to 5 kilobytes per second. Upload rate, upload rate 5 kilobytes per second. And I've scheduled the speed limit to uh, limit it to this from 8 o'clock a.m. to 11 o'clock p.m. After that, it goes full-fledged at download rate and uploads at 100. So that enables me to actually use my internet during the day. I'm going to show you a test with that right now. We'll, um, yeah, it's this easy. Okay, we'll go to Facebook, or, sorry, no, let's go to Google. Google.com, okay? We hit enter. You see how fast that was. That was real time, fast. Now we're going to clear the cache, empty cache. So now Google is no longer in my computer's memory. 
Now we're going to unleash the speed so it's downloading as fast as it can. Um, we're going to give that a couple seconds to start to go here. It's actually seeding as fast as it can. It's not downloading anything. I'll unleash the seeding as well. I'm going to upload at unlimited. Okay, it's had a bit of time to go here. Now let's try Google. <coughs> This is real time. I hit enter. You can see how long it's taking. Much longer. So by limiting your speed limit in under the transmission preferences to um, schedule the speed limit, you can substantially uh, de increase the amount of performance you get out of your internet, but you can still see it. So now we'll go to Google much faster. And that's just, they're still all seeding, but they have their speed limit enabled. So that's a, that's a very helpful tip for transmission. Um, just to let you know, for the LogMan video, uh, there is a new version of LogMan for the Mac, and it's, it should actually inform you that it's a new version, and it's, it's great. It's very, very good. You can share files and desktop sharing. I'm not sure how that works, because it's grayed out. I'd love to click it. Can't figure that one out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very nice. It's a new version. Um, let's see here. What else can we do? Groovebox.fm. Great radio station. They stream uh, music from live DJs, and you can request songs. It's free. Um, and it's just, you know, nice to use. And that is all I have for you guys today. Actually, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Right after this, I'm going to make another video on how to change your dock lights. Um, okay, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.